definitely do a storm track on this, where the greatest cluster of lightning is in southeast at 20 miles per hour. Would say uh, the Mandale community at 605, Terrell's at 614, and Gum Springs at 621. Uh, the storm is located uh, 11 miles north of Siler City. The uh, potential is for a tornado and half dollar size hail. So if you are in the vicinity of the storm, you want to make sure you head to a safe location within your home. The lowest level of the house, maybe if you have a basement, that would be the optimum place to go. If not, be on the lower level of the house, an interior room like a closet or a bathroom without windows would afford the safest shelter. Uh, this is a radar indicated tornado. And let me uh, turn that off and I'll get in the zoom, zoom in a little bit closer and see if we can see anything with the velocity. And uh, let me change over to a different product and we'll zoom back in. Forgive me of the uh, clutter there, but we're going to zoom in. And there is the definite signature here. Uh, you see the reds and the greens budding together, and the reds are the raindrops moving away from the radar site. The greens are the raindrops moving toward the radar site. So these are moving away, and the greens are moving toward. So the, uh, the circulation that we're looking at right now is over southern Alamance County, and it would be moving into, uh, shortly, we'll be moving into Chatham County. Let me get in a little bit closer to see if I can uh, see any communities that are showing up. There is Siler City, uh, just to the south along 64. I'm going to time lapse this so you can see the movement of the uh, raindrops, and definitely some rotation is being picked up. It wasn't showing up a short time ago, and then bam, you see it already come together. Now, since we don't have a strong jet stream upon us, uh, this rotation may not last all that long. This tornado warning is in effect until 6.30, so we are going to remain on the air until the threat does subside. But at least in this volume scan, we are definitely picking up some rotation here on the uh, radar view. And there is over the uh, Chatham and also Alamance County line. Uh, once again, a tornado warning is in effect for northern Chatham County, southwestern Orange County, southern Alamance County until 6.30. Radar was indicating a thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado that was located at that time. Uh, this came out at 551, located at 11 miles north of Siler City, moving to the southeast at 20 miles per hour. Uh, the hazard with this, of course, would be the potential for a tornado and half do dollar size hail, and the radar was indicating the rotation. So if you are in the path of the storm, again, I'll mention, if you have a basement, that would be the optimum place to go. If you are, have a two-story home, you want to be on the first floor, you want to be in an interior room, a closet, or a bathroom away from any windows. If you have a room underneath the stairs, that would be an excellent place to be. Again, this is a radar-indicated tornado, and we will stay on the air until either uh, this uh, comes to an end or the warning does get canceled. But uh, right now, we're just seeing the uh, radar indication. Let me time-lapse this. Again, this is the only severe thunderstorm cell that we've been watching across the area that has uh, been producing severe weather, or at least the potential for severe weather. And notice how the lightning strikes are really, really beginning to ramp up, especially south of Saxaba Hall and into Chatham County. And this will likely maintain its integrity and get closer to the Pittsburgh area. Let me uh, broaden out the view and show you what else is going on and see the perspective of what is happening. This is affecting just a very, very small location. You see Raleigh, uh, all is quiet, Sanford, all is quiet, and then farther up to the north, we have more thunderstorms that are occurring up across southern Virginia. Now, we do have a severe thunderstorm watch that's in effect until actually 11 o'clock tonight. The threat is for damaging winds, some hail, some very heavy rainfall. Not likely that we would see many tornado warnings out of this system coming on by. The greater threat for tornadoes is up across West Virginia and eastern Kentucky, but whenever you have severe weather, you cannot rule out an ice a thunderstorm that could produce a tornado. So again, that tornado warning is in effect for parts of Chatham County, also Southern Alamance County, and parts of Orange County. But the way it's looking right now, I think it would just really affect uh, the northern part of Chatham County. Let me stop the time lapse again. And just looking at the radar view, this is where the rotation would be showing up. Let me turn off the lighting so you can get a better idea. So it is moving now into uh, Chatham County, uh, there's Highway 87, there's Highway 64, so if you're watching north and west of Pittsburgh, between Highway 87 and Highway 64, that's where the greatest threat area is. The cell is moving to the south and to the east at about 20 miles per hour, and we haven't had a new update of a radar image yet, but it's still showing that location. Uh, right on the Chatham County line, heading farther to the south and east. And if it holds together, it would be affecting Pittsboro, uh, I would say, within the next half hour. So let's do another storm track to the southeast at about 
20 miles per hour. And again, there's Gum Springs. Uh, again, if it held together, it would eventually make its way into the area. So if you're just joining us, we do have a tornado warning in effect. Uh, the outline of the pink polygon is where the tornado warning is. It will be in effect until 6.30 this evening or until it is canceled from the National Weather Service if it is not showing any uh, so if it is showing any signs of weakening, I'm going to check in with the National Weather Service uh, chat room to see if anything is going on. Uh, according to the National Weather Service, the tornado warning was issued due to tightening rotation from the Alamance Randolph cell merger, with the cell right turning and moving into a more favorable environment where an earlier lingering outflow is likely enhancing the helicity location meeting, but the uh, rotation uh, would be gathering momentum. So that's why the, the uh, tornado warning was issued for that area. and. And Greg is with me right now. Are you seeing anything else? Yeah, I was looking, um, and I, I guess uh, if you can take weather five, I don't know if that's uh, if that's possible right now. But this this is a product on our storm view, which actually uh, there you go uh, analyzes the rotation uh, without uh, looking at the uh, at the velocities. Not in other words, with, with the things and outgoings, right. it just sort of combines all that. And so I wanted to just go through this. Uh, uh, going back in time and see if I can get to, uh, okay, there we go, now it's animating. And uh, if, if we look at this as it moves on in, you can see that area growing and you start to see that green, even a little bit of yellow right. in there. And then as it moves on to the last scan here, uh, you can see that, uh, yes, yes, so the, the amount of rotation de definitely appears to be waning uh, as we go on in time here and hopefully that trend will uh, will continue. Uh, if we take a look at the velocities, uh, you still see that red and green uh, pattern there. Yeah, can we go over to weather two and you can check that out, what Greg's talking about. There you go. There we, and uh, it's, it's not exactly one of those things where you have the two pixels right next to each other. It's sort of a broad mm -hmm. uh, area, but nonetheless it is there and definitely worth, uh, worth noting. Um, and I believe we also have uh, uh, one of the National Weather Service, uh, uh, what we call an attributes there, where it's actually uh, detecting that uh, a strong enough signature to call it uh, a, a TDS, and of course exactly. that's a tornado vortex signature. I'm going to go over and see if I can actually take a look at those uh, values. Um, hold on just a second here. We're rotating between three different systems. <laughs> uh, um, yes, that um, uh, this storm is actually 45,000 feet up in the air, and uh, the probability of hail is 100%. Um, and the estimated hail size is somewhere around uh, about an inch. Uh, so it's a very potent cell, there's no, no question about that. And uh, Mike, what you're showing there, you, know, you were talking about this earlier, the plethora of lightning. It's just uh, ramping up fast. Really, uh, really going up in a hurry. Um, so I'm gonna continue. Um, uh, I guess you can, you can continue to talk about that and then I'll, I'll okay. take a look at some things here and see if I can find anything interesting. Um, Again, this uh, tornado warning uh, is in effect until 6.30, and uh, it's for northern shadow of southwestern orders and southern Alamance, although um, I think we can pin it down a little bit more than that. Yeah, it's pretty much uh, more along Highway 87 right there, because mm -hmm. if we go back over to the velocity, uh, the rotation center would be generally in this vicinity right here. So it has moved into Chatham County. So if you're watching from southwestern Orange County, I see your folks are okay. Uh, and even across southern Alamance County, I think you're okay as well because it looks like the rotation has ventured in to uh, Chatham County. So if you're watching west of Highway 87, north of 64, where you see my little circle there that I've drawn on the screen, that's where the greatest rotation is because with the radar, you, we look inside thunderstorms and look for the movements of the raindrops, and the reds would indicate the raindrops moving away from the radar site and the greens, the drops moving toward the radar site. So it gives us the idea that that's where that rotation is occurring right now. And it continues to head to the southeast at 20 miles per hour. And let me uh, head over to the radar and I'll put that uh, storm track on and once again, southeast at about 20 miles per hour since we have the new uh, update. And it's the Terrells community located right about there, uh, about 617. Uh, still in line for Gum Springs around 623. And here in Bynum at 635, if it does maintain its integrity, again, the environment right now uh, shows some rotation, but I would not think the way the atmosphere is set up that we would see it maintain itself for a long period of time. Extended period of time, exactly. Right. Exactly. In fact, the uh, uh, the strongest winds about a mile above the Earth are actually up in Virginia right now, and so uh, 
if there was uh, a potential for something to sustain itself for a long period of time, I'd almost be willing to look more up there. Right. But, uh, you know, even if something only lasts a few minutes, uh, uh, if you happen to be the person underneath where it's occurring for those few minutes, for you, it is a big, uh, a big deal uh, indeed. Uh, again, this uh, uh, tornado warning, as, uh, as Mike mentioned, the center of rotation has now moved into Chatham County, so it's uh, at least the threat of tornadoes is not as strong now in Alamance and Orange County. It's mainly a Chatham County threat at this point. Um, as it continues to move toward the east and southeast at about uh, 15 to 20 miles per hour. Um, and again, we see some indication. I'm going to go back, uh, just while you're looking at that, I'm going to go back to the uh, uh, product that I was using just a little bit ago just to take a look at the, how the rotation is actually being measured. And again, you can see a, a continued weakening trend. Yeah, let's jump over to the Weather 5 if we can, and so Greg can time lapse that so we can see what he's talking about. And uh, I'm simply going back in time here, and where you see those green areas right in here, even a little bit of yellow, that's where some pretty strong rotation was being picked up. And then if we put this into motion here and take it on in time, you can see those greens disappear. Uh, so the uh, signature for strong mm -hmm. rotation is not what it was um, before. And, um, you know, one, one thing I was going to point out, you know, uh, there, there, there's one problem, and it's... There are a number of amateur weather radar programs out there, but uh, one of the things that, that happens is that uh, if we can go back to, uh, let's see, what can that be, weather uh, four mm -hmm. for the uh, fast track? Yes. There we go. Uh, you see this little um, uh, this little thing that says K4 here. I'm going to um, call that up right here. Uh, the way that uh, these are assigned is they actually look at the center of mass of the cell, not where the rotation is. So if you do a storm track from this location, you're tracking heavy rain and hail, but you're not tracking a tornado. And so we, uh, when we do a storm track, we always have to adjust it down to the actual position where the rotation is. And that's what we've done here. And you can see that one community uh, tarot um, that uh, would be in line to be affected by that about 618. Um, there aren't a lot of communities within that uh, area right now, uh, which is fortunate. But if you're in that neck of the woods, uh, then the, we want you to be aware of that. Uh, Just wanted to mention a new severe thunderstorm warning that has come out. Let's go to the other uh, system if we can, weather two. And severe thunderstorm warning in effect for southwestern Mecklenburg County and south central Virginia. That's until 715. So let's go from our tornado warning to the thunderstorms that are coming in from southern Virginia. And we mentioned this the last half hour, how they would start to affect our northern counties. Let me stop this and I'll zoom in a little bit closer. We'll do a storm track on that. There is the cell. Let me turn off the lighting and you can see the dark echo showing up, which we indicate some large hail. There's Clarksville and it's just to the north and west. I'll do a storm track. This cell is moving to the southeast at 40 miles per hour, so it is a fast mover. I've got to broaden out even farther to put that on the map. And this is indicating uh, winds of 70 miles per hour and ping pong ball size hail. So this is a, a pretty rough thunderstorm there. So again, let me do the storm track southeast at about 40 miles per hour.